We have here another control flow statement, the for directive. By using this directive, we will be able to execute code repeatedly following a counter. Let's dig first on how to write the for loop, then we'll go through a real use case example. The first thing to write is the directive for itself. Then we have to declare the loop counter. Let's go for a variable i or index. Then we need to specify the entry point where the loop will start iterating or counting. So in this case, we want to start counting from one. So the syntax to use is from one. And for the last part of the counter, we have to specify where the counter has to stop. For that, we'll use the syntax to six. Next, we open the curly braces and add the statements we want to execute. In this case, we'll use the debug directive to see the returned value of the variable i. We have respectively one, two, three, four, and five. The counter is working perfectly. However, the number six is not shown on the list of numbers. Why? Because when we use this to six, it doesn't include the six number. And if we want the six number to be included, we should be replaced this two by through. Let's now go for a real example of using the for directive to reduce the opacity of a specific list. We open the list.scss file. We have here some basic styles. However, what we want to achieve is reducing the opacity of each list item by 0.1. For that, we'll create a for loop that iterates through the six list items. So first we use for directive, then we define the initial number where the counter start counting. We use from one, then the end of the counter, which is the number of the list items, which is 6, will use through 6 instead of 2 6 because we want the number 6 to be included in the counting process. Let's check if our loops is returning the 6 numbers from 1 to 6 by using the debug directory. Cool, we have here the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 respectively. Then we'll use the nth child selector of the list item itself and the variable i to access to each list item following an increasing order. We have to use the string interpolation to set the variable i as an argument of the selector nth child. This is like accessing to the nth selector 1 and nth selector 2 until reaching the nth selector 6 which is the last one. Now that we can access to each element of the list, let's increase the opacity of each list item by 0.1. So we'll start first by an opacity of 1, then reduce the value of i divided by 10. Why we divide this index by 10? Because we need to decrease the opacity by 0.1 and if we debug that, we see here a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6. And these numbers will be subtracted for the initial value 1 of the opacity at each iteration. So comment this debug and in comment this line, give it a save. Done. The opacity is decreasing following a respective order. And if we take a look at the generated main.css file, we'll see that we have multiple nth child for each item from 1 to 6.